<laughs> Welcome guys to Adventure for Beginners session 60, where are we at? 64 today, I believe. 64, yep. Um, yeah, so we started a little bit late, so no worries, not a worries, but um, we're going to skip some, inter or not interviews, I guess, but introductions is the right word. We're not doing interviews today, that's next week. Um, this isn't a session, this is just an interview. <laughs> we're just other. interviewing everyone. Uh, before we start, a personal first for our show, we have we have a live audience. If Jimmy wants to talk about that. Yeah, so <laughs> good friend of mine here, Matt. He's watching and learning tabletop gaming and D&D in particular for the first time. This Matt, show was saying, filmed before no, a live <laughs> studio audience. <laughs> we need a laugh track. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> it's real laughs, no laugh tracks here. Um, other than that, let's just dive into it, I think. So, like I said, session yeah. 64, Travis, give us a small recap. And take it away. Oh, all right. We're just diving right in. Diving cool. right in. Yeah. Um, Let's go. Yeah, where last we left off, our uh, intrepid adventurers spent um, most of a session uh, uh, <laughs> having returned to the capital of CN, where they were uh, rewarded for their defeat of some bandits. Um, got a pretty sick sword. Uh, and then there, there was, I would say, a bit of party strife over what to do next. Um, there was a bit of disagreement on what to do with a few of the um, encoded and or untranslatable documents they found. Um, and that strife only seemed to escalate once they got a translation of a few of the things. Do, uh, do you guys remember exactly what you found out they said? They basically hit us. Essentially, it was a hit. Yeah. A hit instruction. Yeah, it was. It was basically some sort of coded message that messages we got that seemed to be contracts for assassination that we uncovered. We don't know why the bandits we killed had them. I'll let you interpret it as you will. Um, but along with that, uh, there was also the question of what to do with that sweet sword. So. I actually need to make some updates to Fawn's sheet because yes, it was decided that she would be using that. Um, so Let while me known, I go through... this sweet translates to plus three sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're plus putting out a man, <laughs> it's actually and it's actually a rapier. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's it's a magic sword. Yeah. So um. Along with that, the uh, the party was just kind of relaxing and lounging around in a bar. Uh, Fawn was trying to get Durian drunk, I think, so <laughs> to make the question of who would uh, get the sword a little easier. And um, the party actually did speak to um, someone I don't think they were expecting. Uh, one of the counselors of CN came in, um, disguised magically, actually. And uh, do you remember what she asked you guys? Yeah, she wanted us to get shit. some pirate booty. <laughs> I'm not certain I'd phrase it like that, but... <laughs> that's exactly what she said, Travis. She wanted us that's to exactly what she said. I think that was word for word. What she she had the munchies, and she needs pirate's booty to be able to <laughs> solve the hunger. No, she wanted us to go after, I'm assuming kill, but track down some pirates and stop them from pirating along the coast of CN. Stop pirating. Something Which, to that uh, effect. Would you download a sword? Button. Yes. I would also download a carriage and wagon. <laughs> I have no idea Don't what's work? going on. But Maybe anyway, so the, the party um, talked to her, and as soon as she left, basically said, fuck that. Where are we going to go, guys? <laughs> Let's get the fuck and out of Dodge. Yeah, and I think that's where we left off for the night. Um, we pick up, uh, I think, the next day while the party is at breakfast. Um, I think you guys had some stuff you still wanted to do in the city. Uh, like but I guess I will rely on you to let me know if those plans have changed. So take it away. So I think the rough, so... the rough plan was we were waiting for the ring to get finished and then leaving. And then leaving. Yeah, that was essentially what we had talked about last time. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think it's one more day now until like one day more, um, until I get my ring and then we're leaving. Well, yeah, I think it's not today, but the next day, right? Oh, is it? I thought it was like three days total and there was a it day was. I went and cast a spell, which was technically yesterday mm -hmm. and now today. 
Yeah, so after today, we can pick it up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we can like, okay. do it tomorrow I thought morning. I was like, the day after leave. tomorrow, and I was like, no, that's like an extra day. I want my ring, damn it. No, that's, that's <laughs> that movie we're thinking about. Oh, I, I think our business with, um, uh, what's his face? Um, uh, Llewellyn is done, correct? Uh, I know you were talking about doing some scythe enchantments, but I don't know if that's on hold. You have to tell me. Yeah, um, well, are we just going to wait an, one more week and get my scythe enchanted, or if we're not going to do this thing for... Well, that was ten days. Lady, what's her name? It was eight days, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. Eight. I thought it was ten. Oh, okay. Eight. It, it was eight. It would take a while, yeah. A little over a week. Well, it's up to you, Durian. I don't mind either way, but... It's a long time. What we were going to, you know, in, you know, give to your scythe, I forget. Jimmy, we're just going to make it another Durian plus one. Durian forgets to. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to make it another plus one, so it would be a plus two scythe. Yeah, and didn't... I, the cost of that, I mean, how, how did, we, did we work out we were going to pay for that? Uh, it was money? <laughs> yeah, yeah, preferably gold. 200 gold to Llewellyn. Mm -hmm. Plus 4,000 gold for the materials. Mm -hmm. Which I was lacking a total of 500 from the total sum. Uh, oh, right. and I, I think your map's off there a bit, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, try that. Oh, wait, sorry, 3,000 because that was... Right. Yep. This is already enchanted. Either way, I was 500 gold away. Got it. And I had, I think, offered to help with the cost of it, didn't I? Yes. It, I it also mentioned that if you were going to... The enchantment, 400 for the lab space and materials. Oh, uh, um... 700 away, then. Okay, well, I don't have 700 gold. So we yeah, might have to wait right. till we do something further. We can we can get some money on these, on these things we're going to go look at up, I think. I can put money towards it if necessary. Well, that'd be nice considering the nice, very shiny sword that you now have in your possession. Yes, I know. And it is a very nice, well, I gotta stop saying sword, it's a goddamn rapier, but you know what I mean. It's a sword. Rapier's yeah. the type of sword. Um, uh, I still have to pay, I've already paid 130 um, platinum pieces towards my ring, and I need to put down another thousand gold. So, uh, isn't that what you said, I Travis? Did, what do you need? I thought we paid I put down, I, I put down 130 platinum pieces, and I would pay, like, he asked me to, uh, Seneca asked me to pay for the rest of it when I picked it up. Hmm. And I believe Travis I said... D I don't remember, so... Uh, if that's what you have written down, that's what it is. I remember it being significantly cheaper. <laughs> Uh, Some that. of us Not are honest. I mean. I mean, was it like well, only 20 gold total, I think? Yeah, 20 gold for that. No, no, no. Stop lowballing. It was 35 gold. Fuck you guys. <laughs> nah, it was yeah, actually that's what you have written down, case. that's what it is. I mean, I don't have it written down. That's what I'm pulling from memory. I can go back and watch the session. It's not a big deal. Well, watch uh, that part. I could easily find it. What you said was pretty much accurate. I remember. It was 2300. Yeah, that's the price. I don't remember what you paid when. So. 130 platinum pieces because I completely wiped out my platinum when I, like, I gave you okay. all my platinum. Cool. Okay. Yep. Sounds Both good ups. then. Cool. That said, I have actually, while we're at a party, um, this might be a good time to discuss this, and I think this is pretty, well, on topic anyway for what we're about to do. But in the future, should we require supplies such as potions or scrolls or anything for the actual party? Can we, like, take that out of the party thing before money gets distributed? Because I'm going to probably go bankrupt if I have to keep buying my own potions, which are for the party's use. We can't help that you keep dying, Nina. We didn't use I any of your potions. No, no, no. I, I mean, like, certain very specific potions, like... And it's, it's just not for me. If I have to give it to someone else, I'm that happy to use them. I'm just saying, like, a potion of Baskin if Caven requires it or... Why would we have a, why, why would we get a potion of it when I can cast that? Oh, I have one. Nina, I will saying, never I, let silly. you fall willingly in battle. Do not worry. 
I'll take it's, care of you. It's like, say we need a potion of resistance or something. Yada, yada. You get my drift I'm making here. I think we can figure this out on a case-by-case -case basis, and we don't need yeah. to lay down hard and fast rules at this moment. Yeah, we don't We don't have enough money for a, a bank. We yeah, we don't, cash we don't have a party bank. <laughs> yeah, we well, don't have petty cash will. to... to... <laughs> no, up. you know, if if I have to borrow one of your, if it, I guess not borrow is the right word, but I have to, if I have to use one of your potions, I will pay, we'll you, pay back, you back, how about or that? buy you one again, or just mm. buy you a bunch of booze. I don't think uh, I I'm have just happy. though. Something shiny, maybe. That's <laughs> nice. I thought I'd just pick it up. Hey, don't, shiny don't we have to escort this family to the north and drop them off? Uh, yeah, no. that's, that's what we're do gonna we... do along the way, anyways, right? So we're gonna we're gonna skip out on the counselor who wanted us to get the pirates. Well, I, I guess we should probably leave a note saying that we had other business to attend to. But what is it like a I deer? Mean, what is that? A deer salad? Deer? No, just uh, we Abby. apologize, but she, we had other business to attend to. No, just tell her we we're not interested. She asked we're if we'll like, be interested or not. Tell us we're not bye. interested in that, that kind of work. <laughs> yeah. She asked us for it. The least, least we can do is tell her. I want I want some Yeah, some so Pegasus you guys stickers. um if you remember she you was going to come what? back in a couple days and talk to you. Oh, so Oh, okay. Yep. We're leaving so. tomorrow, aren't we? Maybe we should just give her a message now. Yeah. Send her a letter. Send a bird. We'll leave a letter at at the we'll leave the letter with uh what's his name, Joffrey. The bartender who's ten ex wives. Ah, uh, yes, yes, Joffrey. Yes. <laughs> we'll we'll leave a seven. Seven. Okay, Probably. we'll leave and an eight that's going that way. At least as far as I can tell. Who burns eggs? Come on. <laughs> I mean, it's true. What a, what a <laughs> lousy <laughs> wife. People um, that go on ki kitchen nightmares. Those people. Um. Yeah. So let's leave a note with him. She knows to find us here, and we're going to indicate we'll be back in a couple days. I mean, the Lord, uh, Lord Tegan knows that we, we agreed should, to take this we family should send out it, of the end. We should send it to her because when she showed up, she was in disguise. Joffrey doesn't know. It could be just that? a to address to to whom it may concern, you know. Why don't we just send okay. her? A... <laughs> it's just gonna get I'm trying locked. to cover for the fact that I don't remember this counselor's name. I don't remember which oh, one it was. was. They're all the same. They're elves, you know. Lady <laughs> Sidril, I think it was. Lady Nabooru? It was Nabooru. No, it's Sidril. Nabooru is not on the council. She's just in charge of one of the Lady channels. Tanev Sidril. I can't read my own handwriting there. Sidril. <laughs> Sidril. Sounds like Sudafed. Sounds like Sudafed. <laughs> Lady Sudafed. Lady sounds <laughs> Lady, like Sudafed. Lady Sudafed. <laughs> it, I mean, it's, it works. Okay, okay, so you guys basically want to leave a note and then bug out before she can talk to you? Yeah. No, I, I write a note. Uh, I, G2G. Yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll take the time today to pen a note and send it off to the council. Courtesy of Lady Tanith Sudafed. Um, Courtesy and... of who are you sending it to then? <laughs> That's a good question. I know. I know. To, la to Lady Sudoril, courtesy of Lady Sudoril. Lady... That'll re <laughs> really disguise, you know, her her movements. Um, yep. But we'll just say that we have agreed to to the to Lord Tegan to take uh, some refugees north, and that we'll be back in a couple days, basically. That way, we leave open the option to doing this job, even if we're not back in a couple days. Cool. All right. So you uh, you send that off right away, or do you want to leave it there to send after you leave? I send it off right away. Okay. Cool. All right. Was there anything else you guys wanted to kind of take care of in town today, or were you pretty much good? Um. I'll check in with uh, alcohol. I'll and... check in with Llewellyn and yeah. You know. Chat. Okay. Yeah, you guys chatted up. Uh, unless no, there's nothing to talk specific. about. I do. I do drop hints that we are going after some uh, rumored treasures that he may find to his liking. Uh, you you see the glint in his eyes, and he sounds pretty excited about okay. that. Other cool. than that, we can just wait. We can fast forward to when we uh, go pick up the ring the next day. I get okay. rip, I get rip roaring drunk that night. <laughs> Okay. 
Um, how, how quickly do you get rip-roaring drunk? I deliver a letter, and since that's the only work I had to do today, I start at, like, 3 p.m., and I'm going... So it's not, like, quick, <laughs> You're but just day-drinking? Yeah. I'm day well, he has the, the uh, ray beer that allows him to get a bunch of beer. Yes. Also... I, I, I put down... It's true. I put down a couple gold for, uh, um, Joffrey and I say, I need, I need a barrel of... No, I don't need a barrel. That's gonna give me weak ale. I need... <laughs> I asked for like one of the little mini like liquor cask size, just filled with water. Also, Durian, your camera is not working. You're spinning. Oh, now you're just a dog and a cat. Dog and a cat. Dog and a cat. Is it coming? Is it spinning again? Yes. Yeah, it's spinning. That's fine. We can deal with it if it keeps on going. Yeah. Uh, if uh, I'm unmuted, that's... do you guys get any uh, reverb or feedback or anything? I think uh, I can hear your wife in the I haven't background. really heard much. Yeah. Wife. Unless that's on... I think that might be on Josh's. Yeah, I, was just, I was just checking. I've got the camera with the microphone point down to try and avoid issues. Sure. Anyway, so we... um, Yeah, that's what I do. And you tell me the results. Travis, it's predictable. I, I don't try and... Uh, I'm not going to try and perform anything. But I am uh, having a grand old time with Joffrey. Hopefully I get him drunk. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's... Uh... He's um, openly complaining about his current wife. And, uh, <laughs> you you don't get a good sense of how that's... Or you get a sense that that isn't going so good, I should say. Um, cool. So, yeah, you guys just uh, kind of hang out. Um, let's see. I'm going to take off two, three gold. Three gold worth of drinking. Sure. I mean, you guys are still kind of getting... Uh, your stay paid for while you're here. You you know, Joffrey hasn't been asking you for money, so you, you get the idea he's uh, getting getting paid for you. Um, yeah, so uh, you guys sit around, um, and uh, it's not more than a, a few hours um, after you deliver that letter, uh, Durian, that uh, you see a, a familiar elven man walk into the bar. How familiar? Uh, looks like you probably talked to him slash her last night. Got it. Well, how late in the day does she show up? Because that determines how long I've been drinking. <laughs> probably about uh, 7, 30, 8 p.m. <laughs> Got it. So I'm five hours deep. Yeah. You probably had dinner in there, to be fair. Okay, I'm the equivalent of three hours deep, then. Yeah, um... He nods at you and says, Sir Durian, do you uh, have a moment? Uh, sir? Yes, of course. D at the bar, or would you like to go somewhere privately? Uh, private, <laughs> if at all possible. I kind of, like, look around, and I'm like, <laughs> my yeah, room, just, then. Yeah, it's just you and Joffrey kind of uh <laughs> There's speaking. nobody else in the bar. <laughs> just hanging out. Uh, yeah, I, I take Hesh up to the, my bedroom. He, she, Hesh. I, I didn't get it at first. Cool, you guys uh, head in there. Was there. A time, I, there was a time when people in, I think, a, some sort of feminist movement tried to make that a... A thing? Yeah, really? like, to refer to non-gendered people, Hesh. Ah. I thought it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell. <laughs> Cool. So you uh, head in there, and um, once again, she kind of, uh, he kind of puts his hands together, and uh, mumbles a few words, and you see uh, his countenance change into her countenance. Uh, oh, my lady, I, have, I apologize. I once again, did not <laughs> recognize you. Uh, no worries, Sir Durian. I got your note. I must admit, I'm a bit concerned. I, well. To be frank, I had high hopes you and your uh, companions would uh, be able to do me the service that I asked. My lady, as I said, we are not uh, indisposed about, you know, uh, completing the task, uh, pirates, I believe it was, but uh, rather that we still have a standing commitment that I did give my word to Lord Tegan already. At oh? least that was a short uh trip. Uh, maybe is I didn't it a make that clear in the letter, sure. but um, uh, we did uh, come across some refugees that 
I think it would be better to see them on their way to the north to Ariadnish, and I promised to Lord Tegan that I would escort them rather than imposing upon him to find some sort of solution for them. They're, they come from uh, um, somewhere to the west or south, I believe. Ah, I see. Uh, by all means, I can send some soldiers to uh, escort them straight through if that's what it takes. I did give my word, my lady. That you must do this task personally? Are these people important? No, but they're frightened, and I did promise them to their face that I would lead them out. Lead them to safety, or perhaps at least a new life. Ah, well, um, d did you have a... D did you have an estimation on when you'd be back? Uh, I have not traveled north to Astoria um, and to the border northwest of here, but uh, however long it would take to ride and return. Well, if, if you would simply take them across the border to Uruk's Hold, that would be the, the first city on the way. Um, you could certainly be back, uh, oh, I would say fairly quickly. Um, and Durian, give me a perception check. She hitting on me. <laughs> Maybe that's what a we'll, failed perception check is. He needs to do perception a, check to even tell. Durian, who is hitting clueless. on you, Durian? Durian's been drinking all night. We'll see how perceptive he is. Oh, got it. Oh, go away. Yes. Actually, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, just roll me a d20. Just a d20? Yeah, just a d20. Here we go. Oh. I got a six. No, All right. Um, I, ha I haven't rubbed the booty yet. It's okay. Yeah, you you haven't rubbed the booty yet. Um. Okay. I burp and throw up a little bit in my mouth. <laughs> well, yeah, you've so been drinking notice. a bit, so uh, she definitely notices. <laughs> <laughs> you see her kind of frown and said, "I." I understand if you had a standing commitment. Um. I would greatly appreciate your help in this matter, though. It's, well, I discussed a bit about reward, but if that's not sufficient, we can always negotiate further. Uh, my lady, this uh, definitely intrigues me. Um, can you tell me? A we had some time to talk. It was um, pirates, and I did warn you that we had amongst our party less experience at sea, but can you tell me a little bit more about the difficulties of this trip? Well, it's it's kind of as I said. The, uh, the northern seas have been plagued by pirates for some time. Our, our nation has devoted more of our military might southward. Um, necessary, of course, given the hostilities and the war between Taurus and Platinus. Nevertheless, it's, well, quite frankly, it's opened the northern waters up more than I would wish. I would... Do we know the origins of these brigands and pirates? Mm, they're from the north. I have good indication that they are um, neither friends to you nor me, that these pirates are associated with the Black Fang. As I told you last night, I thought that would pique your interest in this matter. Well, it does pique my interest. I, I won't lie, and Perhaps, perhaps I'll discuss amongst my party about whether we're comfortable leaving the refugees in your hand, your soldiers' hands. And I could pledge to them um, whatever force you think is necessary, of course, within reason to it would get just them across be, the border. Their comfort is just what I was concerned with. They they had it pretty rough coming up from their home. Yes, as you said, and um, I know that it's. Difficult. You do know that it's difficult to get around without documentation in Cien right now. They would have everything they need. Well, I think they've papers have been arranged, but thank you. Uh, if you'll excuse me, you can wait up here. I look look at my like dirty laundry, and I'm like, you can wait in this uh, 
receiving room, and I will speak to my party. <laughs> you see her kind of smirk at that, and she gives you a nod. Uh, of course, will you be bringing them up here? Uh, uh, it, perhaps, perhaps not. I'll see how crowded it is downstairs. I wouldn't want to attract too much attention if you're... Of course, desired. as the leader of their party, I'm sure they trust you to do negotiating. <laughs> I bow out, and in the hallway, I'm like, yeah, well, they shouldn't. <laughs> anyway, nice. so I go down and collect the party together. Okay. Mm. Yeah, the rest of the party, you guys are all there. Guys, got, yes. uh, uh, sounds like Sudafed up in our, in my room again. And it's not what you think. What? Uh, what? You see the guitar? I'm very confused. Yes, the lady. Vaughn's only two hours into drinking, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you say Probably. Orin? I think you just said Orin. Vaughn. Vaughn. No, okay. He said Vaughn. Vaughn, my bad. But Josh had been speaking. Anyway, I, uh, yes. So I think she, well, she got our note and made all haste over here to press her case further about going oh. after these pirates. Let's not forget, I had forgotten apparently that they were. Tied to the black thing. Yeah, I, cause I, I could have sworn I was, why I was so adamant about doing it in the first place. Well, I disagreed, but the lady is willing to negotiate on our reward, and I'm always open to some negotiations when it involves gold. <laughs> I thought we end up. I thought we rejected it because we we're not sea fighters. We're not fairy. Men. I've been at sea for some time, but I don't know about any of you. I don't like it. I don't think I've ever I been on like a boat. Bit. I don't think anyone's ever been on a boat before. I don't you think I've been on a boat. No, you, you had to to get to this continent. I could have just traveled I down like on foot. Me? No, no not you, Fawn. Oh, Kate. I was like, I'm from fucking, like... I mean, if you're from one nation away. over, like, like, you've probably I'm never... Like a boat to get here? <laughs> Fun. Fun. You've probably what? never been swimming. <laughs> like, I mean, hey, unless unless it's like it's inconceivable to travel down here on foot. Um, like you'd probably get eaten by giants on the uh, mountain road. Okay, so. then that sounds awful. Not. Yeah, or maybe I would like go the, there because that is my favorite. The movie. the land bridge between uh, this continent and the northern one is uh, uh, the word death trap has been used. Mm. Oh, that's great. Like the rift. All but right. I don't know about that. Never mind. <laughs> we've, we've told you about the rift. I mean, but I don't. I I never experienced it. Yeah, and just as well as she did it. Okay, I mean, so I've been on both. Okay, well, can you imagine giant scary chimeras. Regardless, I don't want to. I mean, she Elsa seems kind of desperate. If she's willing to come out here immediately in disguise again. It w if it wasn't so rude, I would ask She's her disguised. about why she feels the need to disguise herself and yeah, why that is why this is not public interest to the, the council. Well, when Travis, this get, when she met us, I guess the last night or whenever she met us the first time, yeah. did she say like why she's? Can, is there like some kind of stake that she has? Is she? Does she have ships that are getting well damaged? I, or? If you... What do you I, guys I, remember? You tell me. I can me. answer this actually. I can actu actually answer this. Don't you remember? She's the lord in She's the overlord of, of Ripian. Right. Yeah, Ripian. It's just that port though. But are they are they all they're all across the coast? Right? Or is it just well, Rip or are they just around Ripian? Well, well, there's only two main ports. The one that's Ripian. They're fucking up her shit, which is annoying. Is Rem. Okay. Rem. It that still doesn't Travis? explain why she's coming disguised. Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't explain why she's like... It's, oh. She seems a bit more desperate than typical. We also know this, Durian. Do you think maybe... Because it's... the Black Fang has, uh, has obviously friends in high places. She's trying to keep a low profile. Hmm. Could also be something to do with the politics of giving more reign to Ripian when it would compete with business to the south. Oh, that's also possible. I mentioned. I imagine Riem is suffering from the same problem, though. If ships need to go north, I, I, my point still stands. I mean, we can debate about her reasons. I don't understand. There's unknowns that we have. 
to figure out or that could come to bite us. But she is upstairs right now. I will decline, though I wish we wouldn't. Um, oh, I wish I didn't have to decline, but she is desperate enough to raise the price. I well, like that's a pretty good position to negotiate from. Bon is really not a big fan of going on a boat. Oh, yeah, the last time I was all Fawn, why do you keep referring yourself in third person? <laughs> because Fawn would really like to make it known that she doesn't like boats. Because no yeah, one seems to be listening but, to that. And, and I'll go with Fawn. Like, five foot can't... She can't fight mounted combat on a boat. If I go into the water, I'm going to sink like an anchor. I feel like I would probably just vomit every day. And that sounds not exciting. There would be rules involved. It, it's that, not arbitrary. Fawn doesn't know this. This sounds awful. <laughs> what are rules? What are rules? Yeah. I'll be rolling um, around because I'm nauseous. And well, that's all I can what, do. What if, what if we do go deliver our friends, take a look at these, not the desert, but the ruins that are a bit closer, and then come back? And I think the job will be gone by then. The job will be gone. She's okay. really pushing us to start immediately. She was even She'll find some other adventurers to, to take care of her pirates. I didn't mention the desert, but I did mention delivering the promise we made to deliver Russell's family. But yeah. she said, oh, I'll just let them go. And it may not be far away, but it's still time she doesn't want us. Hmm. She's desperate to get us out there. So I don't know. You tell me, guys. I, like, I, I made my point. My inclination is no, but like you said, if she's... Desperate and willing, maybe there's more in it for us. But... Haven's got a blacker heart than I ever realized. <laughs> uh, 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 I was gonna, I was gonna, like, the water side. I mean, personally, yes, I'd love to go take out these, even if it's just a fraction of the black vein. I'd love to take them all out. You know, they've given us so much shit in the past, especially that little shit that I will never forget and if I ever see him. Yeah. I swear, I'll skew him again. Alive, this but... this isn't gonna help us with the but, black thing at yeah. all. This is gonna make it worse. But, but at the same time, I understand Maybe that how inability to fight be on one of the boats. Maybe Actually, he is. We could only hurt. Maybe he's in this room right now and we he knows what we're doing. Hurt. But either way, whether we if, even he's in the boat and we kill him and we skin him and we throw him overboard and the fish feast on his flesh. That's going to be a bigger issue again. Oh, of course, I like it when you talk all raunchy. Kevin, okay, wow, just wow, dude. That's still I it's mean, still going to be worse for us good. afterwards. Oh, so at that's some point, it becomes too, too expensive to pursue us. Mm, I don't know if we can match that resource of theirs. They seem to be well, higher up than even if than they that. have resources, they lack skill. Anyway, so uh, what do you guys, I guess, uh, talk to, what, uh, are, are you guys going up to talk with her, or are you just sending Durian, and, and what uh, do you want to have him say? Let's take a final vote, I'll, I'll and I'll up. go up and speak with her, unless you all want to go up and ask her more questions. I don't mind going up, but, I mean, if the party's made a decision, I'm not gonna, you know, 180 it. Juan, is there anything that would make you feel better about this trip? What if the payment is did, absolutely did... absurd? I mean, what if we could make five foot fly? If they also... We can't do that. <laughs> if they also have something like to prevent nausea, that would be fantastic. <laughs> Potion she of anti-nausea. I think want I some can... medieval that's, drama. That's again. your big concern. <laughs> I think I can... I think I can re attain do you really want to be... To help I don't want to be sick every single day we're on a boat. Do you know how miserable that would be? I wouldn't uh, get anything I'll done. I'd just lay around. Green goopy stuff to make you less nauseous. <sighs> why don't why don't uh, why don't all of us go upstairs? I told her we might not come up, but I think it would be worth having more faces in the room if when I'm going to settle on a price. Agreed. Mm. Okay, or I'll just do it myself. Say you just go up there and do it. I don't all want right. To. Fine. Yeah. So we're in agreement. We're gonna do this. I trust you'll get us a good price. Very well. Talk your way or through it, whatever, I guess. whatever we're going to get out of it. I drink some water, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And then, Nina, were you going up or were you staying down? Yeah, I'll go up if you want. So I don't really mind. You can come up, Nina, but when I start the negotiation, 
keep your mouth shut. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the drill. I know the drill. I jokingly mock him and I'm like, yeah, a woman should know her place. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, like, exactly, Nina. Look, I, I'm like, joke is over my head. <laughs> All right. I, I give him, as a guy, I'm going to give him a quick tap in the butt, like with my foot. Um, so, well, well, as I've said several times, this inn is one story, so you just kick his ass down the hallway. Cool. Um, wait, yeah. hold on one second. Okay. Uh, I'm coming up with some really dicey ideas, guys, about how to get a lot of money out of this job. Oh, God. Keep in mind that you have seen her use magic. I know, but (laughs) I have such a sweet singing voice, and... You do. And a flute that plays pure notes. And a very flowery tunic. I do have a flowery tunic now, that's right. Yeah, oh, that's right. Uh, I don't think I have that mind. Oh, yes, I do. Fruity armor, that's what I called it. (laughs) Um, It's more like flowery. It's not fruity. I I stride back confidently to the room. Nina in tow. Okay. Yeah, you, uh... She's in there. She hasn't stolen my gear, right? Yeah, you, um... I mean, you uh, you head in, and um, at first the room looks empty, but uh, as you kind of peer around, you see, see she's standing behind the door, kind of waiting for you. My lady, thank you for your patience. Of course, she says as she quickly shuts the door behind you and Nina. <clears throat> so, um, did you speak with the rest of your group? And I'm sorry, it's Miss... Nina, is... uh, Miss Amplify. Miss Emberflow, pleasure. Um, would you... Uh, uh, what uh, have you decided? Are you interested in my offer? My lady, I think I would appreciate the escort, regardless of these people to the north. Um, whatever soldiers you feel you can spare, but probably not many are needed. I just want them to feel safe. And I'd like to tell them that they're going to be escorted out of the country. Of course, of course. Um... But, my, my lady, if this is a concerning job in the sense that we've noticed how you have chosen to come and speak with us about something that perhaps would be, in the council as a whole, would be in favor of. So I do not ask about... Ah, methods, yes, um, well... But that said, it's, it is your business, but that said, my lady, it does raise some, uh, the potential for danger in this job, of which we're not afraid of danger, but it does make the um, process of planning it more challenging and executing it. Yes, like. that is something I would speak with you about. Um, it sounds like you're interested in this job. My lady, I'm, I'm a pretty blunt person. Let's, let's talk about what this job is, um, this, the elimination of these pirates is worth to you. Of course. Uh, as I mentioned last night, um, I have a, well, a not insignificant swath of land that I have recently come into possession of. Mm. Well, recently by my standards. I've had it for about 12 years now. It's uh, about 500 acres in the nation of Marilia. Excuse me, the, the nation of Glimmerhaven. Yeah, the place with the stuff. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Um, getting my names mixed up here. <clears throat> Fine. As I and said before, with your current titles, you, one of you would be able to, uh, with the right negotiation, claim it as a landed knight and do with that as you please. You could uh, establish an adventurer's guild. Simply selling the land back to the the baron that owns it would probably net you 30, 40,000 gold. What is the what is the land offer? Is it rocks and barren soil? Um she uh kind of chokes on her words a bit and well um, let me look here and she uh, pulls out like a thin scroll case and um, pops off a sealed top and 
pulls out a uh, a piece of paper that she unfurls. Um, let's see here. Uh, 500 acres of land located at Titan's Hill, uh, consisting of um, farmland, wooded area, a small keep. Um, seems a bit of what you could want. Um, she looks expectantly. Yeah, I, I'm just nodding and thinking, and I say, Nina, give me a d20 as well, please. Okay. Okay. I am. Um, say, like, uh, this is all well and good. These um, this is incredibly valuable for all of us, even if it would mean only, say, landed title for one of us, but... You could establish an adventurer's guild or simply sell the land. What you choose to do with it is, of course, completely your concern. I could like, yeah, give I... you the the necessary... Um, I guess it would be confirmation of your title that would be needed for uh, landed knightship. If that's not the route you go, though... By all means. Well, my lady, I think it would also be in our benefit and yours if there was, um, we are currently not well equipped to battle at sea. It would be beneficial if there was a certain I would be sending you on a, an, an outfitted ship of my own fleet. You would, uh, there would be a crew and captain who would, uh, follow your nominal command, though of course the captain runs his own ship. He he would take you where you need to go, uh, but of course the the command of the crew would be his. I assume you're not too familiar with running a ship yourself. My lady, is there um, a situation, um, perhaps at the successful completion of this, um, Travis, out of game? Can I get by sea to Glimmerhaven? Um. That's a good question. Wait, is Glimmerhaven if she can tell yeah, us? Yeah, why don't you actually roll me Bardic Knowledge check? Yep. Nina, you just straight up wouldn't know. Can't I read. Lost it at all? You can't read. I have to look this up. Uh, um, I mean, Nina, give me, a, give me a d20 and, and... I was just asking, is it on the way to CN from Locus? You have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> you have You've no idea where this is. Into modifier. Nine plus one ten. God, can I re-roll that? <laughs> no. Well, a natural glimmer, one glimmer, glimmer what? A natural uh -huh. one isn't a isn't a fail. Um, one so you've five. hit at least a ten. You know that Glimmerhaven is a uh, a nation kind of to the north okay. and west of the continent, but you haven't really been in that area, so. That's about all you know about it. My lady... A lot I of have, gnomes. I have two... two oh, fuck. Two um, um, offers I'd like to qualify this job with. One is that um, on upon successful completion, you make available to us a ship at a discounted rate to be able to take us around uh, the Northern Territories closer to, get our own to a port that would be closer to Glimmerhaven. <laughs> Um, absolutely. A close port would be difficult, but, um, they could take you all the way to Locus. From there, I, I believe that's one of the closest ports to, to be able to get there on foot. It would save us travel time rather than going upcountry the whole way. Absolutely. More than doable. The second lady is, um, cash payment up front. 500 gold. And the reason I ask for this is there's certain... Done. Damn it, Did I say five hundred? I meant five hundred thousand. I I just blink like. Uh. <laughs> I would, of course, um, ask that. Well, as you have noted, my um appearance here is uh has been as incognito as possible. I. Uh, I would be asking you to uh, travel very um, 
very cool. One port. Oh, Travis, Travis uh, yeah, your mic is freaking out. Your mic's yeah. unplugged. You're unplugging yourself, dude. Nope. Quiet. We're just hearing oh, no, the, a Travis booming. One game. Oh my god, we win the game. No, check, <laughs> check, check your ear. He's muted now. Is, is it unplugged? How about it... now? Oh, yeah, there we go. Better. Oh, uh, I, I think... Oh, oh, you cut out again. Cut I out think again. your mic's yeah, dying. Yeah, you cut out again. Uh, break the time? Is the wiring? Okay. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the silent bucks. How about now? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. yeah that's fine. Okay, we'll use my camera mic. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> um, not bad. So, yeah. Sorry, I'm just getting my sound settings reset. I said, my lady, uh, discretion. Yes, we would travel as quietly as possible, but it is known we're in the city. Um, and I will help it not be known that you've left. Thank you. I mean, the only standing arrangement we have is the escort of these uh, civilians, so... Which I will be more than happy to take care of for you. Okay. I will let it, uh, let it be known to... Counselors know to find us at this inn at the moment, and particularly we've been on Lord Tegan's uh, dollar to be crass about it, uh, staying here. So, so I will leave word no. that we are headed out on a, uh, on a mission um, of some urgency towards the north and west, of which we have spread some word about town. So perhaps yeah. it will throw off the trail. Durian, can you give me one more d20? Really giving me a chance to like find something important out. <laughs> Thirteen. Um, okay. Um, so with that sense motive check, you do notice she uh, has a slight tick when you mention Lord uh, Tegan, but covers it up pretty quickly. It's okay. a small thing, but you've noticed it. Um, she says, of course, of course. Um, I will have the ship and Captain Prepton ready for your uh, departure, and I will... Be sure your friends are escorted and um, made as comfortable as possible. I will, um, I'll make out tonight and, um, at least give them warning that they should not be frightened should soldiers come up to of escort course. them. Of um, course. Uh, and my lady, like... who, who do we report to in Ripian? Uh, yes, you will. I've got to get my trusty name sheet out here. Uh, you will be reporting to, um, uh, oh my god, these names are all terrible. Just one, just one. I've used that Captain one with somebody. Uh, you will be, uh, reporting to Captain Reuven. Uh, the ship will actually take you out of Kenta, I thought. Reuven or Reuven? Reuven. Okay. Uh, the like ship... Reuven. Departing out of Kent, I thought, would be a little lower key. Okay. He will be able to fill you in more on uh, the status of the seas. If you do find the pirates' um, headquarters, I would recommend against going in uh, swords blazing. Um, many of our uh, sailors have been captured or lost at sea. Uh, if you could recover any hostages, it would be... Uh, I would be very thankful. Okay. And, uh... The 500 gold, my lady? Of course. It will be dropped off tonight. Excellent. Thank you. Will you be ready to depart, then, tomorrow evening? Uh, yes. I guess one last question, my lady. Um, do you... These hostages, are they largely soldiers? I don't know who they're all um, holding. Um, you'll just be careful. And uh, you can see that she's kind of not telling the whole truth there. Fair enough. She didn't swear to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. There she did not. <laughs> Use the utmost caution if you find them. Um, great. I, um, I say, by your leave, lady, we'll, um, we'll exit the room together and leave you to make your, um, 
Mm. Uh, departure. Excellent. She bows and uh, says a few words, and her countenance once again turns back to a, uh, a fair-haired elven man. Okay. Magic sure will never surprise me. <laughs> I uh, slap Nina on the back and say, come on, this is a good talk we just had. Let's go. Not. <laughs> The elven man looks strangely at you and heads out. <laughs> cool. So uh, you guys are back down in the bar. Yeah, I wait. I wait for the dude, the dude, Lady Sanif, to <laughs> depart. Yeah, he uh, gets downstairs, sees the rest of you uh, or the other two sitting at a table, nods in your direction, and uh, walks out. Duran. I don't like this. I, not... Ina, I'm sorry. I screwed up. It had I gotten a signal sooner from um, our visitor, um, I wouldn't have lowballed that extra sum so much. That's all right. <laughs> but I, I didn't mean, have. Inter- that, she was. That's, that's easy enough. She to was disguising her intentions very well. But this is definitely we're, we're stepping into some interesting territory. But with she's the hiding f- things from us. So I don't like it. Cabin, Fawn. We're looking at a thirty or thirty or forty thousand gold payout if we decide to sell this land. If we keep it, it could actually generate more money for us in the long run. Um, The social value of having a landed lord among us is, uh, or lady. I mean, an uh, adventurer's guild. It's not a bad idea either. We could. A what? Well, well, she mentioned making an adventurous guild. We could, if it's property, draw people to us. It it uh, it plays to what I think we should be interested in on many fronts. It gives us reason to travel f- much further to the north and uh, establish actually a base of operation on area that we own. Um, it puts us closer to the desert where. Um, Swiftwind wanted us to investigate. It I never really us... cared about owning land, but so we can sell it then. I don't care about owning money. land either. Mm. But Fancy the Adventurers Guild, and Nina's got a point there. That's something. You buy a few more of those swords for that money. I mean, e- even if one of us is not it, an Adventurers Guild gives us think? fame and notoriety. People could hire us. People could seek oh. us. I mean, technically, also come after us. But hey, that comes with being noted. What? What would you do with fame, Nina? I don't know. Maybe draw Figure that fast. Where the hell from? Try to explode me out of hiding. Wouldn't your fame bring him right to your doorstep? My point is exactly. I'd draw him out of hiding. I don't think he's hiding. He's no, looking I don't see for him you, trying right? to do it. I mean, I don't see him trying to do it any time at the moment. He's obviously hiding. Okay. Otherwise, otherwise he would like be outside, ready to boil this entire enough. And as I said, I'm sure a fireball was coming right for us right now. Is it a trap? <laughs> Roll a reflex save. <laughs> nice. But uh, oh no, she's just she's not telling us everything, and well, we knew that to start with. Disconcerting. We knew, we knew that to start with. I would um, just jump in and say we should leave tomorrow and um, our visitor uh, asked of us discretion so I'm going to spread some word around that we're going to be heading northwest to Ariadne soon and uh, I also want to make some purchases um, for our uh, I think that will help us if we're going to be at sea one for you, Fawn, but also uh, I think it would be beneficial to have some, um, some, some potions or oils that can enhance our, uh, our arranged weaponry. Yeah, uh, uh, magical if, portal boat. Almost. Uh, I don't know, if you got like a potion or something that can like help me breathe in water or walk on it, that'd be nice, because if I hit the water, I'm going to die. Well, for much of the journey, you're going to have to... Uh, Remain unarmored. Uh, unfortunately, that's not going to happen. Well, don't fall in. But uh, Nina, that extra gold was. Should have asked for more, but that extra gold's for you. 
for our project. Okay. So you take it and sock it away and spend it how you see fit, but I will use it uh, towards um, improving your scythe uh, when we get a chance anyway. I just nod the mic. So our target is Kanto. Yes, we're headed back to Kanta, and we're looking for Captain Reuven. Do we know right. what he looks like? Mm. At all? No. Just going to ask around? All right. Well, I'm very okay. good at plying uh, sailors with drink and finding the right uh, <laughs> captain. Perhaps and yourself we'll, as well. I imagine he'll have word of us coming. Him? Mm -hmm. Her? Well, who cares? Doesn't matter. Got uh, captain. And with that, Travis, I excuse myself. If we need to roleplay, we can, but I'm going to make my way to where I know the Russell's family is staying. And... They're in this end with you. Oh, that's right. I forgot that. I they're, they're like still... sitting at the table next to you. <laughs> okay, so I excuse myself from the party, and I sit down to explain to them that we've arranged passage for them in an armed escort, and they should be safe on the Ariadne-ish. Okay. Um, yeah, Russell kind of comes up and says, you're not taking us? Russell, I um, I lean down and I say, there are dangerous people in this world, and it takes brave adventurers like us to track them down. So you're gonna help more people. That's our goal. Yes, we um, helped you as much as possible, but now it's your now you're in charge of helping your mom and dad, Russell. I. Go ahead, Travis. He, he just says, I can do it. Yeah. Things will get better when you get further north, but it's still, you got hard roads ahead, so work hard and uh, be brave. And, uh, do I still have my practice flute? No, you gave it to Grimgar. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Fucking <laughs> he's prob Grimgar. He's probably dead. <laughs> but you, you were giving, um... Yeah, he's got that little armor. Thing. Oh, you did give him the leaf to keep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I've got this to protect me, and he kind of holds it over his little chest. <laughs> if I was really crooked, I would I would give him the silver holy symbol of Nairul and be like, this, <laughs> this pendant will protect you. <laughs> but he's You're, uh, you be so thing. evil. I can't believe you still have that item. Holy shit. He nods and says, okay, well, be safe. And he, he kind of uh, motions you down. And he gives you a big hug when you lean down. Oh. Yep. I, uh, I uh, act a little awkwardly, but I give him a hug and tussle his hair. And I, 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 I bade goodbye to uh, Grom and uh, Aaliyah. And I say, you've got to... No, I don't say you have a great singing. Nina's that could be taken the wrong way. Apparently. Oh. <laughs> I know. Her, her name journey, was. Her journey is you, a you have a great life. It's going to be short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you should have died about 15 to 20 years ago, but that's none of my business. <laughs> All right. Oh, cool. So okay, you uh, bid them farewell, and uh, we'll pick it up the next day. And why don't we uh, call a break there? I was about to yeah. say. Break time? Yeah, yeah definitely. Break time. Cheers. Break time. I just finished my beer. I uh, would sorry. if I yeah, when we when come back, maybe. Like that, that's why I was about to suggest a break because I ran out of beer. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. right. Same here. Yeah, back in five. Oh, Jimmy's already gone. Screw yeah, Jimmy's like, oh, bye guys. Sorry, I just really oh, have to pee. Bye. <laughs> See you soon, Twitch. Woo.